Hello everybody, this is Chris Holdry with Chris Has Gone Fishing 360 and uh, this is pretty much my first video in the uh, 360 room that I'm going to post. Um, it's using the new Samson, well it's not new, it's new to me, uh, Samson 360 um, Samson Gear camera uh, as well as a little lighting kit here that I've got. Um, I apologize to you if you're looking at this and uh, everything looks a little bit too bright on the back side. We'll, we'll, uh, Hopefully be able to get everything working good and, and you guys will appreciate and enjoy these videos. Uh, what I'm going to do here tonight, today, is, is this is going to be an example of setting up um, three different rigs. Um, we're going to set up a Tokyo rig, a uh, Jayco rig, and I'm going to show a Texas rig. Um, pretty much the Texas rig, for the most part, is a very simple rig and, and it's kind of a deviation on all three of these setups. Uh, what the, the way that it works is, is that you're using your hook, you're using a worm hook um, and running the hook through the top of the, the worm. Um, that part of it I'm not going to show you. It, it's very straightforward and easy. Um, you know, I may show that in, in one of the Fishing 101 videos uh, that I'm going to try to get out there as well. So with that said guys, um, let's get at it. Uh, we're going to start out uh, kind of the, the latest and greatest and what's got everybody interested. Um, you know, has been uh, the big the Tokyo rig of late. So, the big deviation on that one is, is using split rings. Um, on this one, I'm using the size three eagle claws. Um, and I also have uh, my sag grabs and the. You know, also bought some more of the size threes. Never mind. Um, but uh, we're using the size three eagle claws. Um, we'll use the uh, one eighths um, slip sinkers, and then um, if you swing over to Harbor Freight. Um, you'll see, let me see if I can get this around to where you guys can see it. There we go. Um, I just picked up the uh, .041 stainless steel lock wire. It's about $9. Um, this is more than I will probably ever use in my entire life, but it is stainless steel. So the big part on the Tokyo rig that everybody gets a little bit different is creating that wire weight um, leader. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about we'll go for about five inches worth, roughly. And then what you want to do is just fold it over. Um, I'm using a pair of just really inexpensive uh, bent needle nose pliers. And you just fold it in a, fold it directly over, crush that down, and what you're gonna see, you're all probably sitting there looking at my piece of wood that I've got sitting there. Um, on this I've got a nail driven in and then just cut the head off the nail. Uh, what that gives me is something that I can wrap the wire around and then be able to uh, get it good and tight. Normally I use uh, some quick wire twisting pliers but we'll do it the old fashioned way. And you really don't have to have too much around it. Just want to get it wrapped around. It's not one I want to cooperate but when does that not happen when you're running a video? And just give it a few twists. Don't really have to go overboard. Um, using the uh, wire twisting pliers, you know, you get the real nice tight loop and, and able to get it all twisted in there. So we'll get it twisted down as much as we can. And we just get us a, a nice little loop there, that'll work. We'll be able to get the slip ring over that. And we'll straighten everything up here to the best of my ability. Get the jig off the side there. Alright, so then what we want to do is on the Tokyo, you're going to need a worm, one worm hook wire weight leader, spinner, and one split ring. And basically what the whole point of all of this is to set it up so that your bait has the most action as possible. Um, with split rings, you can get split ring pliers. Um, with these little ones, 
um, I have really found that just using your fingernail, believe it or not, works pretty good. You just have to get used to it in practice. So we'll get that split open a little bit. And get our first loop in there. And like I said, it never fails when I'm shooting video. Nine times out of ten, I can get this knocked out on the first try. Go to run video on it, it's going to take me a few tries before I get it to work. I'm glad I can laugh at myself. Feed it around. And what also helps is once you've got that started, then you go ahead and jump in. When you're using the smaller aught hooks, um, I got the three aught granites. Um, you, know, you can pick these up. Our Walmart sells those at 88 cents a piece. Um, any good worm hook will do, but you don't have to break the bank either. I've caught you know, numerous bass on these little hooks. So, right, get that one slipped on there. And I'm just leaving all that stuff in there. Already got one out. Just leaving everything on there so that it leaves it spread open just, a, just enough that I can get the next piece on there. Put that around and we'll just spin it all around. And once we hear that snap ring flop back into place. Okay, that is your essential Tokyo rig. Right there. And you just got that wire hanging down there. Let's flip that slip ring around here. There we go. And what it is is it just lets everything float real well. And then what we'll do, we'll add a couple of sinkers onto it. Um, these are just a little 1 8 ounce. Um, in fact, I'm just going to put one on this one. Slide it right over, bend your wire around. And I try to crimp it down there to where uh, the weight will get underneath it. Okay. That is a, a very easy and simple homemade Tokyo rig. Alright, so set that one off to the side. And the next one that I was going to show is a deviation on the Jayco rig. And again, we're going to need our hook. Our split ring. And where I'm deviating is, is I'm going to use a dual snap lock. Um, it's my first time throwing this on there, but I think this would be a lot better for flexibility to enable you to uh, swap out your weights and be able to see what you think um, along the lines of, of being able to adjust, adjust on the fly with these. And I think that would be a much more advantageous than just uh, using a snap ring to throw um, the weight on there, because that way you don't have to fight to get the snap ring off. Alright, so again with the snap ring, let's get it split open. Double snap in there. You could, uh, you know, just use that as a, to open up and, and force it in there, but it can be just as easy to do it this route. And we'll get the hook in there. And 
like I was explaining earlier, you can do it first try nine times out of ten and then turn the camera on and of course it wants to give me a hard time. But hey, look at it this way, at least it's not going to be a blooper reel I'm going to be putting out before too long where you guys get to see me fall down and generally show how un ridiculously uncoordinated I am. So let's get this around again. Get the snapper or the uh, dual lock snap off out of my way. And usually with these, um, with this setup, they're wanting you to put another snap ring in there. I don't really think there's a, a need to. Um, you can tie your hook right on there, or tie your line right on there, or put a swivel on it. Um, and I think the big benefit to this is going to be using just a uh, snap ring or a snap swivel and put that on there, and then that way you've got this all set up. And then all you've got to do when you go to decide what size weight you want, um, you can use the bass casting sinker. I know this is a block, but it won't be staying in there for long. It's going to go in the tackle box. So you just pull that open, drop that on, and then have your other swivel attached to that split ring. And then you've got a real nice little uh, variation on that Jayco. And I think this will give you a, enough flexibility that this will give you a real nice action. All right. So last and definitely not least is uh, just kind of your basic um, Texas rig, and again, you know, using just using the same old hooks, you can get a lot of deep variation out of these to get different actions. Uh, you can just tie them in there. I'm going to use a nice sized amount of leader. You know, probably uh, get arms, you know, lower arms length from uh, going from your elbow down to your fingertips, something along that line will work. And basically, you just want to give yourself enough enough room to really work. Uh, I'm going to use a standard fisherman's knot. So you just slide it through your eye. Give it about six or seven twists. So we're going to sit here and uh, spin this back around again. Uh, so we had a little bit of a hiccup on the camera. We decided to shut down, and I guess I've got a little bit on the time that it'll run. Uh, but I've still got to get tweaked and adjusted. But again, we're going to do a fisherman's knot. Just spin that around good six or seven times. Basically, the reality is, is really you know, when you get all the twisting and turning down, you're doing essentially just doing a union knot. Um, there's another way of calling it a little slightly different technique. Um, but they both, you know, the knot, the knot itself ends up being essential. So once you, get, once you get your knot for the most part tied, you want to lubricate it, whether you're doing it with saliva, water, anything will work. And you just pull it tight. Snip off your excess. Alright, so once you've got that nice little knot on there, um, basically the big thing with the Texas rig is you then drop your weight right onto that. Um, you can do this directly with the line on the rod. Um, you can tie up a leader like I just did. Um, 
they both work quite well. If you wanted to put a, a spinner on it, um, you know, you can do a uni or a fisherman's knot, um, whichever work, works for you. And I'll just show you the uni knot real quick. Tie an overhand knot. Spinner back over here. And then just go over your other line, wrap it through the loop about five, six times. Again, you want to lubricate this with saliva or water if it works. And just pull that down. And once that gets tightened up there, snip off your excess. Your tag. And you've got a basic Texas rig. Um, Real great for working with worms and, and uh, swim baits. Um, the great thing about it is, is, again, the way you feed it through that worm hook. Um, this, all three of these will be very difficult to get snagged. Um, they'll give you a lot more fun fishing and casting time. So guys, if you like that, by all means, please subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Um, we're going to continue to try to get more and more of these videos done once we get more of our equipment done. Um, I'm super excited. I just picked myself up a kayak, so we're going to start getting some kayak fishing videos going. And uh, you know, keep your lines tight. Have a good time. You know, by all means, be safe out there. Subscribe. Um, click that subscribe button down below. We would greatly appreciate it. Check out any links that we have in our description. Uh, any support that you guys send our way, we would absolutely appreciate. And uh, if you have any comments, um, have like uh, any deviations that you have that you'd like to share with everybody, or would like to make suggestions for a future video please add those to the comments and I'd be more than happy to uh, take a look at it and uh, possibly do a future video for including those things. So thank you guys and we'll see you all soon.